Hey guys, I'm back. I want to read right quick Proverbs 11 and 13. Proverbs 11 and 13. A gossip betrays a confidence, but a trustworthy man keeps a secret. A gossip betrays a confidence, but a trustworthy man keeps a secret. Stop telling all of your business to people who you think is your so-called friend. I keep a Bible in my car. Yes, I do. I keep one in my house. I keep one in the car. I keep one in just about every room. But this is my car Bible, you see. It's, rag it's raggedy. But um, sometimes we want to tell our friends, you know, a little something, something that we may not tell everybody else. Most times you can't do that. Because you got keep in mind, in this flesh, it's still a mess. I don't care if you're saved, sanctified for how many years we still struggle with this flesh we also struggle with an itchy ear and this tongue so when it comes down to something personal you know and you want to share it you know thinking that no one is going to say nothing about it it's between you and them and you pouring out your heart because you got confidence in that person fall down on your knees and take it to God because one thing about God, he's not going to share your secret with anybody. He's not going to um, ridicule you in public about it. So whatever your deepest, darkest secret is, or whatever you're going through that you want to share with someone, share it with God. Because most of the times, friends ain't going to do nothing but have it, that itchy ear. They're going to listen to what you got to say. Some will act like they're helping you just to see what's going to, what the end result is going to be of your situation but take it to God he's the author and finisher of your life and he's the he's the healer he's the, the give you the guidance and will guide your steps and he will see you through make a way out of no way so take it to God stop taking it to folk have a blessed day